There was a chance, yeah. Molly's different in the film than she is um, in the book. A little softer and more three-dimensional, maybe. I kind of love it. You know, looking at the material, there, um, there's only so many antagonists you can fully develop. And in my view, even reading the book, Molly is a true victim of the system, you know? She chooses this dauntless because it makes sense to her, it's where she should belong. And then she's rudely awakened, you know? First of all, by being beat by Triss, and then by, like, unraveling in her fear landscape. So I loved that they sort of played that up in the film, you know, seeing what the system can actually do to someone. Yes. So. Is Molly a good girl gone bad, or a bad girl all the way? I think Molly is a very broken girl. Um, you know, she grew up in candor, she's not outwardly likable or maybe attractive, and in a faction where people tell the truth all the time, that'd be really hard. So, yeah, I, I think that, I mean, that's how I saw her, you know. Can you give us a glimpse into Molly's fear landscape? Um, yeah, I mean, Molly's fear landscape and my fear landscape are probably different. I think Molly's fear landscape is being factionless, failing, um, and not having anyone, being alone. You know. uh, what's your favorite book series that you're currently reading or that you read in the past? Interesting. Um, I just started reading Game of, Game of Thrones. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, so I love it. I'm way behind the times, I know. Um, but my favorite, I, I'm a Hunger Games fan to the core. I really am. Although I do love Divergent. So, yeah. Um, Ellie Golding has been described as a musical pick. voice. Yeah. If you could pick an artist or um, a song in general that would fit with Molly best, which one would you pick? With Molly? Yeah. Lannis Morissette, maybe? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Janis Joplin? Um, yeah, something like that. And with so. you personally? Regina Spector. Oh, okay. For sure. Yeah. Right. Yeah.